Hello, my Miss Percibles. So we are here doing a What's in My Bag video again, and I am doing the Michael Kors Bradshaw Embellish Logo Bag, com Convertible Bag. And the small, <clears throat> so I did say I was going to do a What's in My Bag on all my recent purchases. And all the Michael Kors purchases were of bags from his summer and spring collection. And he did uh, had a big sale going for most of his summer and spring bags now that we're going into fall and winter. So you will catch these sales at great prices because they're trying to get rid of those colors that they have for spring and fall as vice versa for winter and spring when fall and summer comes fall when spring and fall come back in. So, um, this is the bag. I did an unboxing of this bag. If you hadn't seen it, go back and check out all my videos. I'll try to uh, drop it in a description link below. This bag does come with two scraps. It comes with the shoulder scrap, and this is how the scrap looks. It has a little MK charm attachment to it. The MKs on the bag is in gold and it is um, raised from the bag, like MK patch logos and gold. Um, and this is the long scrap that it comes with. And I really love these scraps that the the short and the long scrap. I love both scraps that comes with it. So this is the crossbody scrap. And then this is the shoulder scrap. So I leave this scrap on here, but I am using it as a shoulder bag. And on here, it has so much of the gold. These are of gold. I don't know, like they gold stones or whatever. They're really nice. But it's so much of it on there. I didn't want to overdress her with too much or put anything in the front because of all the MK golds. But on the side, I don't know if it matched because, you know, ain't no light like daylight. But I just have my Victoria's Secret flower charm on here. And then I have this little um, rose and puffball charm on there. I don't even know if that goes. It looks like it goes. But <clears throat> um, I just packed her today. I will be going out with her today. So we'll see how she looks in the daylight because ain't no light like daylight. But that's it. It um, does have an outside back slip compartment. And in there, I just have my phone case. So it does fit the, a phone down in there. The bag is lo um, long. Someone is at the front door. I'm sorry, you guys. I always be forgetting to cut this darn thing off. But the bag is long, so it will fit your phone. I have a 6.7-inch phone, so it will go anywhere on the outside or the inside of the bag itself. <clears throat> I just love this bag. It is so nice. It The leather is a fox leather. So it is a fox leather. And let's go inside of her. And it is like a push button opening shut closure. So this is the overview of the bag. Because the bag is narrow on the inside, I couldn't put use like a catch-all for her. So I had to put my items down on the inside of the bag. So the inside of the bag, I just have some hand sanitizer, which is strawberry pound cake by Bath and Body. I have my nail file kit that I got a friend mail from KJ. I have Pure Wonder Perfume Spray by Bath & Body. I don't know, like, I like, I know Victoria's Secret, they have roller balls. And Bath & Body, they have sprays as far as their perfume, mini bottle perfumes. And I prefer a spray, even though the spray goes faster than the roller ball, but... Sometimes the roller balls be getting on my nerves trying to get that stuff to roll out. I have my pill case. I have my lip balm by Carmex in the watermelon flavor. 
I have my Nivea hand cream. I have my Tide pen. And I have my Bath and Body lip gloss in that warm apple pie. It's a flavor. It is the flavorful, the flavor burst one. And <clears throat> this flavor is, if you like taste it, it's strong on your lips. And it's a flavor you have to adjust to, trust me, because that, ugh, it tastes like, like a pumpkin or something. I don't know. It's strong. Anyway, moving on. I have my um key case in there. And I have my wallet in there that um goes with it. And that's everything that's down inside the bag. It has a back slip compartment on the inside, and I just have the tag. So, this is the tag. And the retail value is showing $3.98, which and I didn't pay that at all. And then this back slip compartment, back zip compartment. I have my hand, um, my bag wipes. The That's the little hand. Michael Kors care instruction booklet. And I have my feminine wipes. And then I have some singles Purell um, hand sanitizers. That's everything. So let's put this these things back in here. I probably could have got my mini boxy cosmetic case over there on that side. It probably would have fit. But them longer items, I don't know if they'll go in that mini boxy cosmetic case. So I ain't felt like fighting with it. I was just like, you know what? We just gonna put this stuff down in here and call it a day. <laughs> and call it a day. And that's it. And that's all my what I consider consider my essentials. <laughs> When I go out, I need my keys, of course. I need my wallet, of course. And I need all my little feminine items like perfume, lotions, feminine wipes, um, my hand cream. <laughs> I don't know. I'm addicted. I like my hands to be looking good. Um, lip gloss, hand sanitizer, of course. You know, most of those I always try to keep on me. Motion that is a must for me. Door. I'm sorry, you guys. That is a must for me. So those are my main essentials. It definitely, if I'm carrying a smaller bag, such as this. It's very long, but it's narrow. So when you have narrow, you know, but the depth of it is kind of long too. So it's long in length and kind of a good size and height. But the width is very thin. So thicker items, real thick item is kind of difficult with trying to pack this bag. Such as like if you're trying to put a mini court backpack charm in there, the mini rolling charm, just for instance, or the mini boxy cosmetic case, because the width is thin, but the height and the length is long. So that will makes it be able to also hold quite a, a good amount of uh, things. This is called, this is the small, I don't know if they actually have, um, if they have it in a bigger size. I haven't seen it, anything small, and of course I wouldn't want any bag that looks like this any bigger. <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect size, little small, little nice bag, especially, I want it in black, and I also, ha they have a color in luggage, they have it in this blue color, they have it in multiple colors. I got this color because I love this shade of pink. It is so gorgeous. 
and also like i said it was one of his summer um color cells so it was much cheaper than the others i believe the others was on there for about two something i can't remember the exact price maybe 298 or something such as that i can't remember exactly i don't know the retail value price for his website for it um and this was basically i want to say an impulse buy like i seen it and i then i went and i looked at a video and i was like oh it's it's nice and i just grabbed it because it was on sale it was so cheap it was at a great price but i didn't know that i would love it so much i really didn't think and those be the purchases that you love when you're hesitant on buying. But it seemed like the purchases, purchases that I'm like obsessed, like I'm like, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. I don't gravitate to as much as I think I would. But the purchases that I'm not like, I'm like, mm, on my hesitant buys, I go to love more than I expected. And it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> And I am obsessed. I really, really love this bag. I really, really love this bag. It's so nice. It's so classy. It's so elegant. It gives you different looks and styles um, because of the shoulder scraps and how he just added his own little touch with it. And then how you can also w dress it down with some jeans or something with the crossbody scrap. So it's very nice. Like I said, I would like it in black to use as uh, maybe a clutch on a, a classy night out. Um, or, you know, a shoulder bag at a, at a, a evening, a evening party or something such as that. So it's very nice. I really, really love the bag. It doesn't have feet as you can see how narrow it is, but she holds quite a bit. Like she holds a decent amount of items and I could still get more things over there as you can tell. And, you know, but I didn't want to over stuff her because i would like to still be able to grab my things out of the bag comfortably without having to maneuver maneuver everything around so as you can see right now i could still just go in here and slide everything out that i can just grab and go without having to take things out just to get to it i, I kind of hate that and i tend to do that more often than i would like but hey so and I didn't want to make her look too puffy. And I did have... Oh, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? Oh, I did have the phone case in the back. And she slid right down in the back of the bag. And see, this phone case, it has like this... All these buttons and stuff on it. And this thing is catching it. But it goes right... Still slides down in there. So if you have just a simple phone case without all this extra outside stuff on it it'll slide right down in there slide right down there in with his stuff so yeah anyway i want to tell you guys to remember 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 to always always bless someone else and remember that when you're down to nothing god is always up to something baby now you smile and be blessed bye